So she needs new spark plugs. Check. Check how far that village is. Can you see it, son? Can you see the village? Yes. Yes, I see it. And what about our tanks? Can you see any of our tanks down there? Edwards? Yeah. But they're not ours anymore. It sounds like one of our best needs is down in that village. All right. Let's go, Edward. Let's go. Good luck. Come over here. That tank is going nowhere and he'll be dead by morning. We're fucked. What's it? You're just gonna abandon the mission, are you? Don't you get it? Finch, Pritchard, all of us. We've been fucked all along. Look, if that's what you want, McManus, then just go. Don't you ever talk to me like that. I've ran more fucking missions than you have had hot dinner, son. McManus, just fucking go. Hey guys, welcome back to Battlefield 1. This is my playthrough of the single player campaign. I am Moose78. And we're going to continue on with uh, the first story here through Mud and Blood. We last left off, uh, Bess was in kind of bad shape, so we got to go down to a village and uh, get some parts to fix her up. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and get started today. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. Here we go. Oh, so much for we're all in this together. All right, find the parts, get the tank running, don't die. Yeah, so we last left off, uh, Townsend's in pretty bad shape. He's inside the tank, uh, pretty much dying right now. Uh, Magnus is MIA. He kind of stormed off, kind of frustrated with the whole situation. So it's just us to uh, go down and get the parts for Bess. The sounds in this game just are amazing. And what do we got here in Z Crate? Definitely want this. Silenced so we can be a little bit more stealthy because we're definitely gonna need it. Gotta get out here on this overwatch and see what's going on. Got a couple guys here. Just some silence. They don't know where I'm at, but they know something's going on. Would you guys stay still for one second? Thank you. Miss that guy. There we go. Still, there's one more. So I thought I heard some. Here, you go back there. Stay down there. Miss. Damn. There we go. Love the sound it makes when you get a headshot. That tink. Should have been all of them. I didn't hear anyone else, and I didn't see anyone else kind of running around down here. Let's see, 
what's this guy have? I'm not going to worry about switching right now, I guess. I want to stick with my silenced weapon as long as I can. up my repair tool so I'll probably need that towards the end I would assume nice one one down free to go that's just kind of weird that there would only be one spark plug but spark plug sorry in the uh, engine there Kind of following the mini map. Again, this game just looks so freaking amazing. I mean, just look around. And the detail. Just everything just looks great. It, like I was saying before, easily the best looking Battlefield game ever. Got some guys down here, so I want to try to get somewhere to where... Oh, crap. Okay, this guy is alerted. He kind of knows something's going on. So he must die. He must get shot in the face. Because I need a spark plug. Yeah, one thing to be aware of, a barbed wire will hurt you badly. Okay, here comes another guy. He too must be shot in the face. Because that spark plug is worth more than their lives, damn it. Okay, there's one guy way, way off over here. Don't want to take a chance at shooting him just yet. Wasn't really confident in the shot that I had. Got a guy over here. Try to flank around the high side. Use this uh, bush here as cover. Got a couple guys over here in the center of the camp. Let's see this guy. Should be able to get him pretty easy now. I want to keep moving. There's a guy back here that I did not see. He knows something's going on. So he's got to die. He knows too much. Uh, sniping in this game is pretty daggone satisfying. Should be. Nope. Sounds like there's more. Oh, missed that guy. It was right past his face. There we go. Got the headshot. Oh, more? Yep, right here. Probably looking right at me. So he must die. All right. Try to, as much I can, salvage some ammunition. Not really finding any ammunition for my silenced weapon, though, so that's a bit of a downer. But 
I did see, uh, you can kind of see it there on the screen. Halfway there. Looks like there's an ammo crate or cache or something just right over there. So I might try to move over there and run in here and see if there's anything in here real quick. Not seeing anything. Nope. Empty. That's okay. Just like down here at this tent, so let's see what we can find. Great. Looks like I'm already full on grenades, so not a huge deal. What do we got? On Dragon Sniper. It's not silenced though, so I kind of want to keep this for as long as I can. And I must be full on dynamite, so we'll just keep pushing on. Oh, the thunder sounds just so cool. So what do we got over here? We got a guy right down here, so I want to try to, if I can, not do that. This guy's got to come right here in this door now. It looks like he's going around. Yeah, he kind of knows something's up. Okay, this door's open back here, so I'm going to see if I can't flink around this guy. That was a lot closer than I care for it to be. I peeked that corner and he was like pretty much looking right at me almost. Uh -oh. Don't think I got spotted, but what's that? M19 silencer. Hmm. I'm gonna at least pick it up and see how much ammunition it has. A little bit more than what I have right now, but man, kinda. I guess I'll go ahead and take this. Even though I kind of need that range. Maybe I can get there in the tower. Heck, I'm going to go back and pick this up if it's still there. Yeah, it is. Only got three bullets, but if I'm accurate with my shots, that should be three kills. And I think he is up in the windmill there, so try to get up there and take a look around, see what's going on, and try to at least melee this guy up here. At least I believe there's a guy up here. Yeah. I should be able to sneak up on this guy fairly easy. Or not. Dang it. Oh, he's got like armor or something crazy on. And he's like completely oblivious to everything around him, so that's good. I only got one bullet left, so I'm gonna have to take his kit. So now it's going to get a little interesting because I'm not silenced, so they're going to know exactly where I'm at. So business is a fixing to pick up here. That guy looks like, oh, he's got the flamethrower kit, so should probably prioritize him first. It looks like, is there someone coming up on me? I think there is. Yeah, dead gummit. Okay. No bueno. Yeah, I can see him right down there. Okay, this is not good. At all. Okay, he heard me. Because you can kind of hear him. He goes, huh? So he knows I'm here somewhere. 
So I'm gonna crouch walk. Quite a few of them out there too, so want to be as careful as possible. Just don't want to go guns blazing and... Definitely don't want to get trapped up there on the top of that tower. Actually, kind of want to get out of this. Guys, right there. So I'm gonna kind of sneak behind this wall. Crap! Here comes the uh, barbecue guy. Boy, gotta get that guy first. Because if I shoot this guy, it's gonna alert that guy. And I'm kind of trapped in here, and it's going to be instant death. Weird. Okay, that guy is pretty daggone close now. Alright, it's go time, kids. Hop back here, a little bit of cover, and here comes this guy. Okay, that, yeah. Okay, he just came right through the doors. Flipped right through them. Is he dead? I assume that he is. There's a fire and explosion over here. Not gonna pick up his kit. No, I cannot. Okay, I need to find this siren and disable the alarm. Oh no, bueno at all. Here comes a truck. I wonder if I could somehow steal the truck. Because that would be pretty snazzy. That would make things a lot easier. Out of the truck? Good night. There's like everyone over there. Alright, it's gonna be a little bit close quarters, so. Beans. I'm just gonna go ahead and disable that because we don't need that. Okay, did that truck just roll through? Must have. guys just have the M9 M1918s as well so I'm not gonna worry about that too much kind of curious where to see that truck went I really want to pick that up but guy up here on the bridge so we need to be careful as you can see it's pretty easy to alert the enemies probably should have tried to do that to begin with anyway now we're right back in that same situation where it's gonna hit the fan. Oh god. Oh god. Bad. Man, I can't see anything in here. That was a tank or a field gun. 
Either way, not good. Gotta sneak back here while I can and get another spark plug. I think that's three now. Just one more. Yep. There we go. Right in the face. What's he got? I'm going to stick with what I have. Disable that alarm. Horse over here. Where is the last one? Just back over here somewhere, I think. So I don't want to take the horse yet. So I think that will alert them uh, pretty easily. So I want to be as stealthy as possible. Hop up over here and it... Is it over here somewhere? Did I already grab this one? Over here's the engine. Nope. Last one. That's all of them. All right. Now back to best. Now I'm going to go back and grab the horse. Way I can kind of flank wide and, you know, stay unseen. Hopefully, that's the plan. That is the plan. See how that goes. So I don't think there's anyone around, so that's why I kind of ran through the water there. If there was enemies around that I ran through the water, then they definitely would have heard me and uh, would have caused quite the ruckus. All right, horse, let's go. And that's the name for my horse in Battlefield 1 is horse. So, you know, keep it simple, I guess. It's just kind of funny seeing uh, all the stuff on social media and whatnot, and just, you know, listen to people uh, talk about what they name the horse and stuff like that. I just want to be a goofball and just name mine horse. Here we are. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Easy. Down, boy. Down. All right. Let's get over here and fix this beast up. Oh, 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 crap. Really? Get this far than this? Oh, hello. There he is. I lost my way back there. There's no right way in a place like this. We'll find one. You're the driver. And there we go. Ah, oh, nice work, boys. Uh, yeah, we did good, didn't we? Aye. We. Boy, sir, that's the last of them. Let's get on moving. We've Not done everything right. Good. Everything. My whole son in life. All I've done is live my life by the manual. By the manual. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? You stupid. Stupid! Bloody machine! Now come on! Come on, Bess! Pull yourself together and work with me in! Fuck's sake! I thought you liked to bloody well fight!
There we go. We're back in action. those hills in the distance. Just mind that village down there. All right, lads. Hang on. Here we go. Left flank. Capture tanks moving into the village. Steady, lads. We're well behind Jerry's lines now. No way of knowing what we're up against. That's a cheerful thought. Come on, lads. We've held together this long. Let's not fall apart now. Old Bess has got us this far. And she'll get us all the way if we do our bit. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for part three of the Battlefield 1 campaign playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, just give a like and a share. Just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around and consider subscribing now. But guys, until the next one, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll catch you in part four.